Hello there, everyone. Welcome to another video. It is me, Desiree. I am in my Christmas sweater, and I thought I would share with you my CVS haul. I always forget about CVS as like a beauty destination because it's not really like the thing they push all the time. Uh, but I was there just a little while ago, and I thought I would share with you what I picked up because, of course, on the way out, I had to look at what, you know, what do they have? They don't really have like new stuff, new displays, new end stands, stuff like that, but they have stuff I don't see anywhere else. I thought I would just share with you what I got. I was debating about trying on some of the products right now. I might go wash my face and try them on. We'll see. Uh, so first of all, I have my receipt, you know, it's CVS. <laughs> so there's that. Um, but I got a couple, a few actually of the MUA brushes. They're all like half off and I've always wanted to try these brushes. I just never have. So I thought I would buy some cause they're 50% off. And they got some dust on them, so they've been sitting there for a while. Um, so this is the contour brush. It's also late at night, if you couldn't tell. Oh my gosh, it feels great. Oh, uh, I don't know about contour for this. I actually thought about uh, like highlighter. Like this looks like a highlight brush to me, but yeah, it says contour. But there's that brush. I also got the stippling brush, which this kind of reminds me of the Walgreens one that I have that I love so much. Do I have it back here? No, I put it away. So I thought I would just get this because I thought it might be, I don't know. Oh my God, what is with the big handles? Why do brands have to make handles as if we're putting makeup on like this? Like, it's just so insane. Like, I don't know. I just don't get the handle thing, but whatever. It's fine. Ooh, yes. That feels great. This feels like oh yes oh yes I like that um the other brush I got is the all over oh my god super dusty boxes the all over shadow brush that's how this one looks here very soft just like the other brushes yep nice hold on no it's fine I thought I felt a little bit of like pokiness but very nice it seems like more of a blended out kind of brush for me anyway. That's how I use that kind of a brush. Um, and then I also got the MUA brush cleaning balm with scrubbing pad. I thought that seemed interesting because I love the beauty blender cleanser, the beauty blender solid cleanser. So I thought I would try this one out. Um, this is, it's a gentle goat milk cleansing balm. All right. Oh, cool. So it has like a little suction on the back so you can like stick this pad, I guess, up against your sink or something. Whoa. You know what this smell? What the heck's that smell? This smells like a product I've used before. Is it hairspray? I can't, I can't decide what it smells like, but it smells like there's alcohol in this, which I don't think is a bad thing, but I'm super excited to use this. Can you hear the dog is going crazy? The cat sitting right there on top of the bed that he's like freaking out. Uh, made in the USA, goat milk, glycerin. I don't know. What's the smell in there? I can't, I can't put my finger on it, but this smells like something I've used before. Really excited to use that. Uh, oh, there's my card thing. I, oh, I think I'm going to go wash my face and try this stuff on. I'm so excited. So this brand Joa, this has been at CVS for, I don't know, a little tiny bit, like maybe a few months. Maybe even a couple of months. Um, and I thought I would... I look at it all the time when I go in there, but I never buy anything. And I thought this time... Now is the time, right? So I bought a few things. I bought the Ice Cream Volume and Curl Mascara. So it says it's K-Beauty inspired. The products are made in Korea. They are made with the Kiss brand. You know, the um, False Lash and uh, Press On Nails brand. So I, I don't know. At first I thought K-Beauty, do they mean the Kiss, Kiss Beauty brand? Anyway, whatever. So this is the brand. Let's open up this mascara. This kind of reminds me of Essence, like the big giant Essence packaging. Woo, I dropped it. Okay, this is how it looks. It just says, I got the Volume and Curl Mascara. And of course right here it says, inspired by K-Beauty. I can't help but think it, it's, it means inspired by Kiss Beauty, but whatever. Um, I also got the Selfie Ready Setting Spray. I got the Dewy version. This is called Do Me a Favor, inspired by K-Beauty, of course. Do you mind? Hold on one second. Cat was interrupting me. 
Um, where was I? The setting spray. So it says, do me a favor, inspired by K-Beauty, of course. Selfie ready. I'm hoping it's not, like, shiny or anything, but I hope it's just kind of, like, not matte. Um, I also got the Truly Yours Natural Finish Foundation Drop, inspired by K-Beauty. Is that going to be on every product? I bet it is. This was only $8.99, and the cushion foundation um, was looking more interesting to me, but it was like $13 or $16. I can't remember. But it was way more expensive than this. I thought, why not just try this one? And then I also got a brow pencil. It's called Brow Down to Me. Oh, Brow Down to Me. That's kind of cute. Precision Brow Pencil inspired by K-Beauty. <laughs> I got the shade Brunette. Actually, let's open this up. Or maybe not. It'll take forever. But it looks like it has, um, I can't tell if the spoolie has product on it. You know what? Let's just open it up. Because the picture that it shows here, it looks like the spoolie has, like, powder on it or something. Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh, look how cute. Um, okay. Oh, it's just a little pencil. You know, a regular little twist-up eyebrow pencil. Go in there. Other side. Oh, there, it's a plain spoolie. The picture shows a... Ooh, that feels nice. You know when there's spoolies that are kind of super flimsy? I want one a little stiff. The spoolie on the picture looks like it has a bunch of product on it. I don't know. I got two more things. I got the Full Cover Concealer inspired by K-Beauty. Um, it's called Truly Yours Full Cover Concealer, and it's huge. Look how big this concealer is. I honestly thought this was a foundation at first. And I got the shade Classic Ivory. Um, so, yes, I'm going to try that out. And then I got the uh, Truly Yours Dark Circle, Dark Circle Concealer inspired by K-Beauty. <laughs> Why'd they put that on everything? That is so funny. So this looks kind of like the um, uh, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. But it's a dark circle concealer. All right, come on, packaging, work with me. So here we go. We got the little sponge tip on the top. You just click it up. I, you know what? Oh, the lighting is not the best right now, but I kind of want to try this stuff on. You know what's missing in the beauty community? Fun. There is fun missing in the beauty community, and that is what I'm going to do right now. Have some fun. So give me a second. I'm washing this face off, and I will be right back. All right, so what do we do first? Yes, I'm the same person. I just have no makeup on. Um, let's go with the Truly Yours Natural Finish Foundation inspired by K-Beauty. All right, no perforation on the plastic, so let's just rip it open. It is in a very nice glass bottle. It feels super liquidy. When I was shaking them up at the store, they were all super separated. Not a bad thing. In a dropper style. Ooh, I hate the dr Ugh, Gross. Anyway. No scent, actually. No, no scent. So this is how the shade looks. Kind of runny. Ooh, really runny. You know what this reminds me of? <gasps> now that I'm putting this on and I see it, you know what this reminds me of? Is that Maybelline... What the heck was it called? Like Dream Wonder or something? That drop one? That stuff was around for a second and they discontinued it. It was awesome. That was the first foundation I ever used. And I absolutely loved it. And I bought so many of them when they discontinued it because I noticed them all going on clearance. <gasps> oh my gosh. You know what? This, this looks amazing. I know the lighting is not amazing and you can't really tell, but holy crap. <gasps> oh my God. This is, oh, this looks great. Oh my gosh. This reminds me exactly of that foundation. This, this looks great. And this is also a, um, a nice shade match, I think. All right. Oh my gosh. I am thrilled. That blended in so easy. Oh, I never used to like first impression videos and I am like loving doing this. This is so much fun. This is so much fun. This, well, first application. How does it feel on the skin? You know what? It like, it feels almost 
I don't want to say powder, but it's, it's in my skin. Like it's not sitting on top. It's blended in to my skin. It's not tacky. Nice. Liking it. Oh my God. Okay. Next thing is the full cover concealer. I'm not going to keep saying inspired by K-Beauty, even though I find it funny. You probably don't think it's funny. But anyway. All right. This is huge. This is a full cover concealer. It is 15 grams, 0.53 ounces. It's half the, uh, half, actually it's a little more than half of a foundation size, which is pretty cool. Immediately squirt it out of the container. So I'm guessing, hold on, let's see. I'm guessing the whole thing is full. Anyway, that's the shade right there. I have the shade Classic Ivory. Feels very thick. I can't even think of where I need a uh, concealer right now because this foundation was so awesome. This feels real. Excuse me. This feels really thick. It kind of feels like that another Maybelline product. The Maybelline, um, um, what is it called? Yeah, uh, the one in ah, uh, what is it? The one in the tube, Master Conceal. That's what it feels like. Kind of thick, but hopefully nice coverage. Oh my God. What is happening? I, I love it. I'm so excited. Okay. I'm shocked. All right. Anyway, let's move on to the next product. This is the Truly Yours Dark Circle Concealer. I know the lighting is not the best right now, but... I thought, let's just have some fun. These are not reviews, of course. You're not going to find them probably very helpful. But I just thought it'd be fun for me. I thought, you know what? Let's. I want to have some fun. This is, this is fun. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, it looks really dark in the thing here, but in my finger, like, it's super light. And I got this to kind of be... Oh, I got way too much to kind of be the inner dark circle corrector over here. I keep looking at myself over here and I feel like you can't see anything I'm doing, but whoa, this dried really fast. Like by the time I went to blend it out, it's already gone. Yikes. Well, let's just dab it on right here. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just trying the products on. Whoa, this dried really fast. Oh my God, I'm loving it. I'm loving these products a lot. I wish they had blushes and stuff. They only had one blush, like or they had two palettes, but it was like a gradient kind of thing, like that Kevin Aqua blush. I, I don't really like it, but um, what, did I, what else did I get? I thought I got an eyebrow pencil. There it is. Um, you know what? I'm going to do some bronzer. Yeah, let me put some bronzer, highlighter, blush, and I'll be right back for the eyebrows and the mascara. Right back. Actually, should I just do it on camera? Because I'm using these brushes too. Let's just do it here together. So I, I got this LA Colors little palette. Look how little this is. I wish more things were little and simple packaging like this. I think this is awesome. But anyway, this kind of reminds me of the Wet n Wild um you know, the Wet n Wild Contour Duo, and I'm using my MUA, the brush I just got. Oh my gosh, this is so soft. Ah, oh, I know this doesn't look amazing for you to watch, but I hope you're enjoying it anyway, because this is so much fun for me. This brush is awesome. This brush is awesome. I, oh my gosh. I think I might like this better than my Wet n Wild brush. Not Wet n Wild, the Walgreens brand stippling brush that I have. I love that brush. I think I might like this better. It feels amazing. It feels amazing. Anyway, what was the other brush I got? This one. I got this for highlight. I'm going to use this um, highlight from that. Uh, I keep wanting to say Wet n Wild. The LA Colors palette. Ooh, very dusty. <laughs> This brush feels super nice. 
I bought all of the brushes that kind of appealed to me. There weren't a whole lot that I really, really wanted. There were a lot of like foundation brushes and just stuff that I don't really like. Those flat kind of brushes, flat foundation brushes. Yeah, whatever. Um, what else did I... Oh, the... Uh, oh, I got the setting spray. I already forgot I bought this. Um, so before... Actually, I'll do eyebrows first and then setting spray and then mascara. One of my best tips ever, do setting spray before mascara. Every time I've done setting spray after mascara, the mascara transfers everywhere. Um, so yeah, anyway, let's do some eyebrows. This is the pencil. Oh, it looks a little bit warm for me. I really like a really cool dark brown pencil, but let's just put it on anyway. Why not? You never know. It's a dollar cheaper than my favorite one from L'Oreal, the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. Best brow pencil ever. Do you mind? No, he doesn't mind. Can you hear him? Please stop. Just slobbering away over there. Oh, very nice spoolie. Very nice spoolie. It's like a super intense spoolie. Like it felt like a... It feels like it's exfoliating your face. Very, very intense. I'm not like too concerned about the eyebrow shape right now. I'm not going anywhere. That's fine. The spoolie, very, very intense. Maybe because it's brand new and it's clean. Like it just feels really scratchy, but I kind of like it. And then the pencil is very dry. And it's a little bit warmer than I normally go with my eyebrows, but, um, you know, not a bad look, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, pencil, I'll have to do more work with it. What was next? Um, eyeshadow. I'm not going to put any eyeshadow on because I didn't tell you enough. I'm not going anywhere, but let's do some setting spray. This is the selfie ready setting spray. All right. Hmm. No real scent. It's not unscented, but it has like a neutral kind of smell. Like nothing you're even going to be like fragrant, nothing like that. But I don't know if it's dewy or if it's just not. Sometimes I feel like products that uh, market themselves as dewy are really just not matte, you know. Um, and then the last thing I have here is the Ice Cream Volume and Curl Mascara. Um, where's the plastic on this? No perforation again. Let's just try and break into it here. All right. So here we go. Whoa, it came out of there really fast. Like no, the stopper has no like give at all. But anyway, here's the brush. Smells like mascara. Uh, do I have a mirror to look at? Not really. Let's just wing it. So as you can see, the brush is kind of like bent, but I feel like that might just be because I pulled it out crazy. Or is it supposed to be like that? I don't know. But let's just put it on. <gasps> look at that. This is the one that is a uh, volume and curl. So maybe that is because the wand is supposed to be like, maybe the wand's supposed to be like that then. What do you think? Volume? I would say so. Curl? I don't know. I don't curl my lashes. They kind of just naturally have that way about them. So I kind of notice right away when mascara is curling my lashes because they look so different. But I don't know. I want to say I like it, but I also want to say I like it because I have no eyeshadow on. I think if I had a lot of eyeshadow on and some eyeliner, I might feel this is a little too natural for me, but I like it. I'll keep using it. Maybe also I think it'd be better if it dries out a little bit. It feels very, very wet, like a really wet formula. Did I use everything? I didn't use the eyeshadow brush because I didn't put eyeshadow on, but here we go. I used it. Feels nice. Um, so yes, that is that. That's my quick little like try on of my CVS haul. I know the lighting was, oh my God, this foundation just feels 
Like it's one with my skin. Like I don't feel anything on my face right now. Um, yes, yes, yes. I'm going to continue using this. I cannot wait to use it in the morning. My skin feels amazing. It's crazy. So that is that. That's my CVS haul and try on after dark. Actually, you know what? I'm going to open up this beer real quick. This is the, this is actually a local beer here. Hold on one second. Very good. I was about to tell you what it was as if you could go buy it. But anyway, that is that. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, it was very long. I appreciate it. I had some fun and that's, that's my basic purpose for having a channel to have fun. So that is it. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you in another one and um, have a good night. A goodbye.